Heroes, my name is Abhishek and this is the story of how I met Meghalaya. Have you ever felt that some things are just meant to be? If you remember on my first night outside Shillong, my dinner was just plain rice with some lemon and an omelette. Yeah, that's it. And I couldn't help but think, what am I doing here? Camping with a bunch of strangers in the middle of nowhere. Is it really worth it? But I just had to wait till the next morning to get all these questions answered. Because when you wake up right next to a waterfall and a reservoir, you know why the hell were you there. So we were in the village of Molingbana. Nestled above the plains of Bangladesh, this is an initiative of Meghalayan government and the village cooperative society. Now there are multiple outdoor activities that can be done here. But the one that Greg had planned for me was canyoning, which basically is a form of river trekking. I think it's best if I let the experience talk for itself. I would have fumbled and tumbled for like dozens of times. This has to be one of the best activities I've done in the recent times. Also, I felt that the development of Molingbana has a very natural and organic feel to it. It was the perfect example of a sustainable ecotourism destination where the locals have an ownership not just financially but also emotionally. Talking about taking ownership, just at an hour's drive from Shillong lies an example of how a family is promoting sustainable lifestyle and responsible tourism. Run by Meghalaya-born Canadian James and his Khasi wife Valerina, Maple Pine is somewhere between a campsite, a B&B and an English-style rustic lodge. Plus, the setting of the farm is right out of dreams. Wooden cabins in a valley, windmills and a stream that beautifully surrounds the farm. To top it all off, the food here was outstanding. Now, I like khasi food, but having that for all three meals of the day was a bit much. So when James and Valerina served pancakes, roasted potatoes, French toast and hot chocolate, 
it was a delight so when i got to know about uh, maple pint uh, so i really i really was very intrigued by the concept the the pictures that i saw and when i landed up over here last night uh, and then this morning as well so i it just blew me away for me it gave me a feeling of uh, uh, a cabin in the woods but for you what exactly was the philosophy uh, behind setting it up so i had a dream of building without cement and thing to a bank a wood structure is a temporary building so obviously alone is not in the works it's actually the best blessing that ever happened to us because we didn't get a loan so then i said to my wife i said listen we just got to do something and we came up in two of the coldest months where it freezes here at night time my youngest son was 8 months old we stayed in tents for 2 months and i built the first cabin we had no lights i used to get up at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning frost on the ground i used to just go and dig the garden just to warm up for an hour get myself warmed up before i actually started working on the cabin and my kids we were always warm in the tent but you come out of the tent it's cold and so my kids would sleep till 8 or so till the sun came out and be able to get up and things but we had a great two months of just and that was the 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 foundation of our dream you know i had i have friends and who are, would would have been willing to invest with me they trusted me they would have given me lots of investment money but they wanted a resort yeah A commercial setup. A commercial setup, resort, swimming pool, da da da, all those things. And I said, nah. I said, no, no. I'm, no I don't want that. No. I do not want that. Now a lot of people might feel that at times James is a bit too straightforward or maybe a little blunt. But I think we need to understand this farm was independently built by this couple with a vision to preserve the sanctity of the place. and a lot of hard work is required for the small family run setups to remain true to the environment meghalaya has gradually started opening up to me with its people culture and a sense of adventure however there are still some layers which are yet to be unpeeled but if you like the journey so far you know the drill until we meet